Hi, I'm Steve Borey, and I am the author of The American Casino Guide. And I'm Matt Borey, and I'm the editor of The American Casino Guide. And today, our video is titled, Top 10 Slot Machine Myths Busted. So we see all over the internet, whether it's in the comment section on our videos or on our website or other websites or other videos, uh, people that they believe things about slot machines that just aren't true. So we've pretty much gone through and we've collected the, the 10 most popular of these myths and we're going to explain uh, what the myth is, give you an example of how that would happen, and then explain why that's not true and what actually happens. Now we have the top 10 myths, and we're going to split this into two different videos and do the first five in part one and the uh, second five in part two. Okay, number one on our list, and, and, and this is a, a common misconception that people have, uh, it's called someone else won my jackpot. So let's say that you're sitting at a slot machine and you're playing and you're not doing well and you decide to move slot machines, so you cash out, you get your ticket, you stand up, you walk over a few machines, and you put your ticket in and start playing on another machine, and then somebody else happens to just walk up, sit down at the machine you were just playing, hit the spin button, and then first spin out of the gate, they just win a big jackpot. And uh, some people get mad, and they'll say, that person stole my jackpot. If I hadn't moved, I would have hit that jackpot. And that's not really the case. Yeah, a lot of people think that, uh, okay, so if, if you stayed at that machine and, and the third spin in, the other person won. Well, if I was there, the third spin in, I would have won that jackpot. But it doesn't work that way. The way a slot machine works is it has a random number generator inside, and it's doing these mathematical calculations very quickly. And uh, there's, there's more losing combinations than winning combinations, but what happens is when you push that spin button, it stops the random number generator, and it chooses a combination. And then it tells the reels in the window where they should stop. Now, it does this very quickly, about a thousand times a second. So if that person was at that machine, they were lucky enough to push that button to stop it on a winning combination. So the chances of you being on that same machine and stopping it at the exact one thousandth of a second is very, very slim. So I mean, I guess probably there's a minute possibility it could happen, but basically, no. If, uh, if, if you kept playing on that machine, uh, you would not have won that jackpot. If the person who sat there was just lucky enough to push the button at the exact same time, at the exact same moment when a winning combination was there, and that's why they won, and, and your result would have been different. Number two on our list is people say that it doesn't matter what symbols you pick in a bonus round because your prize is already predetermined. And what they mean by that is the bonus rounds where it gives you a bunch of icons and you choose them and you have to either match them uh, to win something or just reveal what's underneath it to win something, uh, that they say that it doesn't matter which ones you pick uh, because the machine has already chosen how much it's going to pay you and it's just going through the cycles just for entertainment purposes. And again, this is one of those things that is not entirely true, but it's not entirely false also. Originally, when these bonus rounds were first uh, put into the slot machines, it really did matter which uh, symbol you chose. And what would happen is after the bonus round was over, they would reveal what was behind each of the symbols that, that you could have chosen. So you could say, oh, gee, if I had picked this one, I would have won the grand prize, or if I picked this one, I would have been a party pooper sooner. But nowadays, there are two different kinds, and, and one is those are still out there where it does matter which symbol you, uh, you choose, but there's also another, uh, and it depends on the manufacturer, there's another kind, and that is where it's predetermined. And the way you can tell the difference is, like in the first one, it will reveal what's behind each of the symbols, but in the second kind, or it doesn't matter, it's already predetermined, and they will not show you what is behind each of those symbols. Okay, number three on our list is some people say that a machine knows when you lower your bet, and it will pay you out when you do. And I think this just comes more out of uh, sheer frustration where uh, people are playing on a, a slot machine and they're betting max coins and they're not doing well, and then they get sick of losing that much, so then they drop their bet to the minimum bet or one of the lower bets, and as soon as they do that, they just so happen to get a winning combination, and they just get mad that, oh, this machine knew that I was betting max coins, so it wasn't paying me off, and now that I lowered my bet, it gives me a winning combination, but I don't win as much. So I think this one just sort of comes out of uh, sheer frustration here. Yeah, it goes back to the random number generator. 
Uh, like we said before, the random number generator, all it's doing is mathematical calculations, and it does them very quickly. And uh, it'll, it'll stop when you push that spin button. And the, it's also called the RNG. And the RNG doesn't care how much money you bet. doesn't care whether you bet uh, the minimum coins or the maximum coins. And the RNG is what will determine whether or not you win, whether or not you have a winning combination on the lines. So, again, it doesn't care whether it's minimum bet or maximum bet. It's going to give you the same result, whether you, whether you bet the, the least or the, or the most you, you possibly could on the machine. Then it's up to the pay table to uh, determine what your payout is for that combination. But, again, the machine doesn't care you know, whether you're betting minimum or maximum. It's just spitting out those random combinations, and you just have to be lucky enough to push the, the button to stop it on a winning combination. All right, number four on our list is some people think you can affect the outcome of a spin on a slot machine by stopping the reels early. Yeah, on most slot machines, what will happen is when you push the spin button, it'll, it'll start spinning the reels. But if you push the button again a second time, you can stop it. So some people think, oh, well, you know, if, if, if uh, maybe I can learn how to push that button at the exact second where I see that winning symbol there, and then, and then I'll win. Well, that really doesn't work because, again, we're going back to the uh, RNG, the random number generator. And what it does, once again, once you, once you push that button, it'll pick a combination. And that combination is what it's going to show on the reels. So the random number generator, once it picks that combination, it then tells the reels where they should stop. So you pushing that button will not do anything. The, once that random number generator chooses the combination, you can't do anything to change it. So if you think you have some skill to be able to stop it sooner, you don't. So, uh, so it's a bad idea. Uh, another reason it's a bad idea to push that button is because you are speeding up the game. And a slot machine is a negative expectation game. So you don't want to play faster because the faster you play, the more you are expected to lose. So, so, number one, you're not going to be able to affect the outcome by pushing that. And number two, you're going to wind up losing more money faster by uh, stopping the reel. So, so it's, it's a bad idea, and that is a myth. And number five, and the last one for part one, is that uh, some people think using a player's card lowers your chances of winning. And now, unlike some of the other ones earlier where it was kind of true and kind of false. This is just 100% completely false. Yeah, uh, there, there are gaming regulations to, that do not allow uh, uh, the outcome to be affected by, by using a player's club card. And the only thing a player's club card does is it allows the, play, the casino to track your play. They know how much you put in, they know how much the machine paid out, they know how much you won, they know how much you lost. Most instances, you'll wind up as a loser. But what will happen is the casino, based on your play, based on the tracking on your play on your card, uh, they will give you rebates. And they'll give you rebates in the form of cash back or, uh, you know, they'll make you eligible for offers like free meals or, or free drinks or free, hotel or free rooms. rooms or free shows or whatever. So it is to your benefit to use your player's card whenever you play. And again, it's only used by the marketing department to track your play, and it's sort of sort of like frequent flyer miles. If you go on an airline, you know they're going to track your mileage on the airline. So this is a good customer. Let's you know give them uh, more miles or give them more benefits. But it's the same thing with the players' club card. So no, using your card does not affect the the payback percentage on the machine. That would be against gaming regulations. It would not be allowed. So you should always use your card whenever you can, play in the casino to get some of the benefits back, and using it does not affect the outcome. All right, so that's it for part number one on Top 10 Slot Machine Myths Busted. And uh, make sure you check back uh, for part two. It'll be coming out soon. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we're always putting out new videos and you don't want to miss any of them. Yeah, and thanks for watching, and best wishes for good luck in the casinos.